name. I was telling Brother Phil that uh, my neighbor lives, or my cousin lives right there, right across the street. And I've invited her to churches over the years. She said, I'm okay. She said, I got baptized when I was a baby. I'm good. I'm good. And there's no, Brother Steve, there is no teller otherwise. She's been told that all her life. And that's a sad thing. Amen. 180.
thank you, Lord, for the wonderful love that you have for us. And what a privilege and honor it is to be in the house of God today. Pray, Lord, that you bless the offering, Lord, that you can take it up. Let it be used for your kingdom, Lord. We just pray for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, now All right, now go. She comes through us. Everybody come in. Many years I've traveled on the street with you. Watch the leading changes, trying to wear some gold. And now my work is finished, except for my name. I've been waiting for you.
Oh, it's starting to say, it's wrong, but you can't do the drug. Yeah, Bill, you're going to have to come. Animal. Junior or criminal. It's like I love it when Dixie's here. She's going to sing. She goes.
what we do it for. We just do our best. We just do it to try to be obedient and, and, and try to be a help to someone. You know, it, you don't have to be Billy Graham to be a help to someone. Amen. I, I thought wow. back in those Bless slave the days, from what I understand, there was, huh, they couldn't even read. But <laughs> someone would get up there and try and say something Bless to try Lord. to be a help to somebody. You know, and that, that's all we can do, Brother Gary, is just try and do what God would move Bless upon us. And man, if He doesn't move on us, as I always say, then it's time for me to just sit down and let someone else go. And I'll try to the scriptures here, try and encourage your heart. Amen. Try and let you know that Jesus still cares for you. Amen. 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 He still has the hairs numbered, amen, that are upon your head. Yeah. Amen. And I, while we go through this life and you see all these things around us, amen, I, I was telling my kids just yesterday, amen, how much that the world has changed. Amen. Talking to my son, trying to get him to be inspired because he needs Christ in his Amen. life. Amen. And how this world has seemed like it's went about 180 degrees. Amen. And see, they've left, amen, and they're headed back down into Egypt land, you might say. And that we've come into a time, amen, where they can't even tell you the difference, amen, between a man and a woman, thank God. Amen. We've come into a time where America, amen, which was founded upon Christ. You can believe what you want to, but this nation was founded. It's all through the capital. Yes, this amen. man named Jesus, yeah. amen, and to yeah. spread the Christian faith. But even though the world has taken the burden of sin, amen, back upon their shoulders, thank God you amen. and I don't have to go back into Egypt land, amen. amen. All you have to do <laughs> is look to the cross, amen. The man that I thought they try to scare you about COVID, amen. And man, don't get me wrong, if you've got health concerns and you want to take the shot, then I have no problem with that. Take the shot, amen. As for myself, I've been healthy. I had COVID. I bounced through it. It didn't have much of an effect on me. Amen. I don't plan on taking no shot unless they cause me to have to. But I've got news for you. The conspiracy theorists, they tell you if you take that shot, you're going to die in so many years. I don't know what the big plan is. I don't know the picture. But I know what the Bible tells me. If you drink of any deadly thing, it shall not harm him. Thank God he holds the key to death, hell, and grave. Yes, he amen. My life. amen. with the shot, brother. <laughs> amen. I'm not afraid of no shot. I'm not afraid of no disease. Yes, it was amen. a man one day. And then John the Revelator saw him. I believe he said, yes. and he's You don't have to be afraid of this thing that's going yes, on. Yes, yeah, sure, I can see it. Just like anybody, amen. even the sinners, amen. they can tell this world is in a mess. Amen. The devil is doing all that he can. And God, but those of us that are secure within the hands of the Master, amen. and no one or no thing amen. can take you out of his hands. Amen. Amen. You cannot be removed. From this plan of grace, amen. you can walk away from it. But if you want to stay strong with God, amen, all you got to have is Him in your life. Amen. 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 God, the, Lord. the world may not always like it, and the tempter will always be there. Amen. And God, just reading a little bit ago, amen, says, Every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust yeah. and is tied enticed. Amen. And when it's sin, is conceived in your heart. Amen. It brings forth death, thank God. The tempter is out there, friend. He's got something that appeals to you. He's got something that appeals to me. Oh, but do not err, brother. Do not follow after that little devilish pleasure that tickles with your heart, man. There's death at the end of that road. But those of us that stay with God. Amen. And the Bible says that the devil, he's our adversary. Yes, and amen. the Lord lion, amen. he's going about, he's seeking yeah, yeah. whom he may devour. Yeah. And God, but I'm glad that the scripture says that if God be for you, who can, who can be against you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And God, yeah. We're on the winning side. Amen. Amen. I can't help it that the world has got their vision blocked. Amen. They're headed like sheep to a slaughter. Thank God you might say. They went from the very commandment. They can't even tell the difference. Amen. So many folks.
Amen. Amen. Let's say, oh, I believe in God if I could just see Him. Amen. Amen. Oh, if I could just see Him, I believe in God. You ever see a child born? Amen. You ever see that as it grows in a mother's womb? Amen. They don't know how that happens. Amen. But they know that it takes place. How can you not see the hand of God Amen. everywhere that you look? Amen. 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 You ever hear a heartbeat? Amen. Have you ever heard that pulse? You know what? They don't know what causes that other. They just know that it beats and it pulses blood. But there's an electric impulse that makes that heart to beat. You see the hand of God every day of your life, good friend. Don't let the devil cause you to be afraid of this thing.
tell us. And, and I, I don't even want to mention your names, but you probably know who I'm talking about. Amen. He'll fill up your portfolio before you know it. You can retire. Amen. Give you a nice Mercedes. Amen. Pay off your house and all these things. Amen. If you follow after Jesus. Amen. But I don't read it that way, Brother Dave. Amen. I read of him as being a man acquainted with grief. Amen. Amen. I read about him as a man who was kicked aside. He was spit upon. Yeah. Amen. The disciples. And then Paul took such a pain. Amen. Amen. And they looked at him and they left him for dead. Some of them did. But when he got up, he didn't cry and say, woe is me. But he said in other words, he said, don't let this bother you. He said, because we must through much tribulation press on to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. If you're getting uh, beaten by the devil, amen, that's because you're doing something for God. Amen. amen. Keep on keeping on. Amen. And fear the man that can cast your soul with holes. This here man, amen, he was blind. Looked like from his mother's womb. Amen. And I always hear people say, well, one of them asked him before he got healed. He said, uh, the disciples asked him, say, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Wow. Amen. Now, I want to make a, 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 a statement here, and maybe everybody might not agree with this. But it didn't say that every person that was born blind was born for this same purpose. Amen. Yeah. I thought sometimes we're awful careful to put little in-betweens in there. Yeah. Amen. There are some that are born with the disease. No doubt that God gets great things from healing. Amen. But that doesn't mean that every person that was born blind amen, was, was, was for that purpose. There's some people have burdens. The Bible says that the devil, amen, has bound them. Amen. But that's not what I want to get into. Amen. I'd like to tell you tonight that even though this man was born blind, thank God, and even though God healed him, and everybody knew that down from his birth, no doubt they saw him as a little child. Amen. Raising his hands out. Amen. And no doubt God got glory from some people for this. Amen. But this man was born blind all down to his time. Amen. But one day the Bible says that Jesus came through. I'm going to skip a couple verses. Amen. And he spit on some clay. Amen. And he threw it in the man's eyes. And he prayed for him. And the Bible says that he asked him, Jesus did. He said, how do you see? And he said, I've seen men tall as trees. Amen. And Jesus prayed for him again. Amen. And he received his sight. Thank God. I still believe in the healing power that comes from Jesus Christ. And as this man, thank God, received his sight. Not only did he receive healing that day, but when Amen. God laid his hand upon him, and if God lays his hand upon you, thank God, friend, the Lord will give you something that will go along with that. I thought the world, amen, that you would have thought that would have rejoiced. Thank God, but Jesus done it. Amen, upon the Sabbath day. Amen. It was those Jews that got jealousy down in their heart. And instead of seeing the wonderful, miraculous power of God, all they could see was them losing their position. And they said, he done it, thank God, on the Sabbath day. And they began to fight against him, amen. <laughs> Just like you can't see God through all the great things he's gave you, amen. They couldn't see a forest through the trees. Amen. And it's God healing. They got a miraculous thing done right before him. And all they could see was that he done it on the Sabbath day. What's God trying to show you, friend? What's he put in your life, amen, that's causing you, amen, but you don't want to see it, amen. amen. God, we need to think about this, amen. God tries to reach us sometimes. He reaches out and he gives us all, all the clues to the game. He gives us all that we need. Amen. But the devil will send a strong delusion. Amen. And if the lust of your heart, amen, begins to overrule you, you won't see what God wants. Amen. But this man, he got something from the Lord that day. Amen. And they come to him and they begin to ask him questions. Amen. I'll start off at 16. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, this man 
man is not of God because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Amen. Don't get too caught up, amen, in your little dogmatic rules in this thing. Amen. Don't get to where you see such things, amen. amen, so close that you're looking at all the little isms and schisms that you can't see. Thank God the hand of God on them. Amen. You would think if you're looking back on that, that we'd have been able to saw that brother Dave as the great hand of God. But there's something that'll trap you and I up, amen, just to say if we're not careful. Amen. We read these stories in past tense. Amen. So we can see it. It's so open to our eyes. Amen. But these were real people. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Sometimes by the hand of the enemy. Amen. Others said, how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? Amen. Bless there was a division uh -huh. among, among them. them. Yeah. Amen. Jesus said, I come to bring a sword. Amen. He said, after I come, sometimes father will be against son, oh, yeah. son Amen. against daughter, Amen. brother against sister. When Jesus comes to your life, friend, Amen. it could cause some trouble. Amen. Amen. Stay with the plan. Amen. Bless the Lord. That's why we have to love God more than father and mother. Amen. Yes. Amen. More than our children. Amen. I thought a guy at work, he couldn't get past that. He said, there's no way that I could put God in front of my wife or my family. Amen. I told him, I said, you're looking at this the wrong way. Yeah. God would never tell you to do anything other than take care of your wife and your family. Amen. That is your commandment. That yeah. is my duty as yeah. a man is yeah. to provide for my wife and my children so much. And I do believe that I would. Lay down and die to protect them. Yeah, Amen. Amen. We got some of these big sissies, they think they're so holy, they look to protect their wife and children, and someone attack them. I don't believe in that kind of hogwash. You'd have a fight on your hands if you broke in my house to attack my family. Yeah. And I believe that's my Christian duty and obligation. Thank yeah. 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 God. So I told him, I said, it ain't about that. I said, God wants you to provide for your children, He wants you to love your wife. As Christ loved the church so much that he gave Amen. himself for it. Amen. He laid his life down for it. Right. Amen. But what he don't want you to do is say, I got to go to the football game. Amen. I can't go to church. I got to go bowling with my buddies or whatever it is. Not that there's anything wrong with going fishing or whatever. But oh, you can't just lie because your wife told you to. That's right. Amen. Your wife wants you to take something to do something that's wrong. You owe your first obligation to Jesus Christ. Amen. That's all he meant by that. That's right. I mean, that's my opinion anyway. Yes, but listen here, this man. I want to skip down and, and we'll, we'll hurry up and close. They asked his parents, and man, you'd have thought they'd have stood right there with their son, but they were afraid of being kicked out of the synagogue. That's what we were always heard and preached, and you kind of read that in there. And man, they said, he's of age, ask him. Amen. So then I'll skip down to 24. Then again, Called they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. And here is the part that really, really gets me. Here we got this man who was blind, could read, obviously. He had been blind all his life. I, I doubt he was very educated. He wasn't one of the, the chief Pharisees or one of the big wigs. Amen. But look what happened. One touch from Jesus. Amen. And he had something inside of his soul that could speak out to the world. Amen. If you get Christ in your life, you don't have to be some great big educated fellow. Amen. I'm not no great big educated. Well, I'm not no great big spokesman either. But when you get Christ in your life, yeah. amen, he'll do all the work for you. Amen. Yeah. I know we get all nervous about coming up here, amen, whenever we do, amen. But if, if, you, if God moves on you with anything, that ain't you. That, that's from, from the yeah. Lord. Come on, brother. Amen. So here he begins to tell them, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. You think it would be that plain. Then said they to him again, what did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and you did not hear. Wherefore, would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Listen to him pretty much preaching to these prayers. You will see something like that. And then when God moves up, yes, he will give you a boldness that will testify to this. Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple.
disciple, but we are Moses' disciple. We know that God spake to Moses, as for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. Amen. But oh, what's the Bible say? Jesus says, when they bring you up before the magistrates and different yeah. things like that, yeah. don't even think about what you're going to say. He yeah. said, the Holy Ghost will do all yeah. you're talking yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid, amen, of this that's coming down. Pray and seek God, amen, but fear him that can cast you yeah. The man answered and said unto them, Why, herein is a marvelous thing, that ye know not from whence he is. <laughs> and yet he had opened up mine eyes. Amen. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doth his will, him he heareth. Yeah. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened up the eyes of one that was born blind? Bless Amen. You. If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. That's the uneducated talking to the educated right here. And I like, as you keep reading, they said unto, they answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sin, and dost thou teach us? It sounds like he was trying to teach them, but they just didn't want to learn. And they cast him out. When God moves on you, friend, the world may not always accept it. Amen. Everything might not be sunshine and rainbows afterwards, but oh, you still got visited by the master. Amen. And here, listen to what happens after he gets cast out. He gets a visit from the man himself. <laughs> Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found him, he went and searched him out. And he yeah. said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. Yeah, Amen. Right. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. Amen. I'm glad that one day I got a touch from the master. Amen. It wasn't such a profound touch as that man had. Amen. But when he come to me at the altar, amen, I knew at that moment, like I've always said, amen, that man was preaching about Zacchaeus, amen, coming down and running up and getting in that tree, amen, looking, he wanted to see Jesus. And all my days I've been praying, thinking, what do I got to do to get saved? I would go up there and be like a middle block. Amen. I just knew that there was, I was expecting something. And the people up on the stage, I had such confidence in them, amen, that I thought if I claimed salvation and didn't have it, I thought that they would know. Amen. Lord bless you. Put in that request. And when I did, I believe God heard me. Amen. Because he laid on the preacher's heart to preach about Zacchaeus. And he stood up and he said, as soon as that man, young man put in that request, he bless said, God moved on me to preach about Zacchaeus. And when he preached about him coming down the wayside, amen, and Jesus and Zacchaeus up in that tree, and he said, he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down here. I have need to stay at your yeah. house tonight. Yep. Amen. All I can tell you is at that very present moment, when he said that, it was almost like I could see it as a picture show. Amen. And I realized that Jesus, just like he knew Zacchaeus was up in that tree, he knew exactly all about it. Amen. And that's amen. when I got faith. Amen. Yes, I amen. I my heart. Bless and I prayed and got saved. And I've been trying to do my best ever since. Not saying I'm perfect. I make mistakes and need your prayers. That's all I have. I don't know if you want to go all the way. Amen.